In this video, we will provide a brief introduction to how Alvao Asset Management works. Alvao offers a comprehensive overview of all hardware and software you use. You will know where all end-user devices, servers, or virtual servers are located, who is using them, and what their attributes are. This will help you better utilize and manage assets across your entire organization. Common challenges in asset tracking include Tracking assets fragmented into spreadsheets Difficulties in locating device history during incidents Disorganization in tracking software and license management Lack of relevant data for planning and budgeting With Alvao you will Have a single place of truth about all assets Know exactly where everything is and who owns it Track accurately software and license usage Do cost management and budget planning All this means more effective IT The foundation of Alvao asset management is an object tree this hierarchical structure allows you to mirror your company and group your assets based on location, floor, department, team, room, or whatever you want. You know where everything is and who owns it. Compared to the table view that is typical for similar tools the tree structure gives you a much better and more comprehensive visualization. Let's say one of your employees is leaving the company and you need to quickly locate his entrusted assets. Instead of looking him up in a spreadsheet and trying to figure out where he works. Just type in his name to search. It instantly retrieves the location and department where Mark works. Additionally, you can see all his personal data, most of them are loaded from Active Directory, so you don't have to fill in anything manually. Also, you can see all of Mark's assets now. If we take a look at the laptop particularly then we can see a number of attributes. Some of them are details about hardware and software. These are typically retrieved automatically from our agent or through integration with SCCM and Intune. Despite Alvao is Microsoft-centric, you can detect Linux as well. Other attributes are for operational work. We can, for instance, see the device's supplier and when the warranty expires. This way when there's an incident I don't have to go through a separate spreadsheet to see whether we have supplier support guaranteed. Yet more attributes are automatically inherited from the tree structure. This view you can also easily customize to different sections according to attributes. Let's say that William's leaving the company and we want to transfer his laptop to Veronica. By clicking on the device right button, I select move and just type in Veronica. It is also possible to use the drag and drop method which I will show you later. Now I will find Veronica. You can see that the laptop has been transferred and that the inherited attributes have changed. The user is Veronica, and the department and location have changed automatically. If I will go to the log tab I see that the transfer is logged. Logs generally provide you with complete audit trail data. It's time to create a handover form. There are several ways to sign it. I'll show you how with an electronic pen. This method is particularly useful on smartphones or tablets. In a standard situation, the users would receive an email to sign in on the self-service portal, but for our demonstration, I'll do it myself. Now if I click on the document section see that the protocol was logged. You can find here any submitted documents, such as an invoice, etc. Let's say you need to add a new object. For example a monitor. I will create it in the warehouse where the monitor is currently physically located. There are several ways how to input new devices. You can upload CSV from a hardware supplier, scan with a barcode scanner or create from a template. When an object is created, I have to fill in the required attributes, without that, you cannot manipulate it. This ensures that all necessary information is always tracked for all assets. You can freely set which attributes are important to you. Some attributes are pre-populated and some are entered manually or scanned using a barcode. Now, I move the monitor to Veronica with a simple drag and drop. Sometimes you may want to find out how many and what assets there are within a department. By clicking on the child object on the department you find easily it. Here is an overview all in one, but also I can find some particular such as computers and phones. For a complete organization overview, it's the same way just click on the company in the object tree. 
This is especially useful if you want to find out the age of all particular devices in a department or company. If I want to check my personal assets I can do it in the tree object but also in my profile. In the profile, this is a common method for all users without access to the asset management object tree. I can also easily find all my handover protocols here, so I can check whether I have ever taken over a particular asset. If you have some subordinates you can check them under the subordinates tab and view their assets to quickly assess whether they have everything they need. This helps quickly evaluate individual hardware requirements from subordinates. The next important feature, which is reporting and analyzing, will help you with decision making. With Alvao Asset Management and Power BI integration, you can create complete reporting on your assets in minutes. It is entirely up to you which metrics you measure and which are important to you or management. For example, you can track the most defective equipment as requested by the service desk. An important report can also be a summary of assets, indicating asset type, manufacturers and models. A vendor report may be important for you, as it shows active contracts and all vendors, and provide links to particular contracts. Computer report showing detailed information about all computers in your organization including operating system, type, and manufacturer. In the next report, we'll focus on laptops and note that the current goal of 80% coverage for Windows 11 Pro has not yet been met. Of course, there are plenty of other reports, such as object relationships, which shows the relationships between different objects within an organization. The age of objects is also a very useful report as it shows the age of each object, including the date of purchase and the seller, which allows you to evaluate investment planning. Or the latest software usage report, which shows which software is being used on which device and how much. If you decide to track devices and other assets, you probably need to consider your infrastructure as well. Let's say I want to check the status of server 01. I see that the server is on the second floor in server farm A with other servers. Now I want to use the configuration database to find out all the relationships of server 01 to my infrastructure. You can add these data relationships manually, but also via a CSV file or API integration with the monitoring system. By clicking on the server it shows me a technical configuration of the server and other attributes such as a child object or related tickets from the service desk. The configuration database is very useful when you need to perform maintenance and need to know the relationships between objects to avoid critical failure. Also, if you need to secure some part of the infrastructure at a higher level, then you know that all the objects need to have the same level. Now let's say there is a server failure. You can see that the status icons have changed. I found in the server details that there is an incident reported. If we take a closer look, we find that all virtual servers are down. These servers are running the ISS server and the SQL database which are also down. When I click on these services, I find that they keep the ERP system running, which is now also down. Configuration database will help you resolve the incident easier and faster because you immediately identify the root cause of failure. Let's see how you can easily control permissions and access to asset management by individuals. For example Veronica. Here I can see which group she is a member I can also see she belongs to asset managers. When I check how Veronica's asset management looks now. I see that she has access to the complete organization including all the floors, departments, and assets. Also, she can freely manage the assets and change particular attributes according to her needs. She can not change only attributes that are automatically loaded from the network. Let's say that this situation may not always be ideal and we want to change the permissions for Veronica so that she is only available to manage specific assets. First, I need to go to settings, where I set a permission rule in the object tree that allows me to manage permissions within the object tree. I will now return to Veronica's profile, where I will set permissions to manage specific objects. Initially, I need to set up read access to the organization, which is the main object in the object tree. As you can see, I can set a variety of object permissions, from read to change to create to delete. 
Now, I will do the same for the floor where I want Veronica to have permission, but in this case, additionally, I will set the child objects here. In the final step, I will set the specific object type with administration at all levels. In this case, I want to set Veronica's permission for cars so that she can change any information on these types of objects and not on any other. After confirmation, you can see that the objects appeared in the security objects. If a specific permission is set for a person, you can always find it here. If I will switch back to Veronica's view I can see that the object tree has changed. She can not see all the floors and departments. Also, she can not change the attributes of the objects in the object tree. However, the car's attributes can be changed freely. Permission management provides a more transparent and reliable way to manage assets. Additionally, it defines clear responsibilities, so each administrator has full control over a specific type of equipment, infrastructure, etc. Let's take a look at software and license management which is a key feature of Alvao Asset Management. Using Alvao Software Asset Management allows you Accurately track and manage all software within your organization. Simplify licensing and eliminate paying for licenses that are no longer needed. Improve your cybersecurity by providing an overall view of even software that presents a potential security risk. To get all the advanced functions of software asset management I will switch to a desktop console. You can see that the object tree structure is the same as in the online application. You can access all software installed on a device by navigating to the Software tab. On this tab, you will find a list of all installed software that has been detected by Alvao agent on the device. If you want to have the big picture to see all the software within the organization or department, you just click on the object in the object tree. In addition, you can see the number of individual software installations in the organization here. By clicking on the software, I easily find all the devices where the software is used, including information about licensing. This applies even if you choose more software in the list. Let's have a look at the licensing and installation overview. Here you will find a complete overview of all installed software and licenses, including the number and comparison of what software I use and what licenses I have. I can see that this view is related only to commercials, but not all software that is used in your organization must be commercial. The shared view for commercial software and freeware can be accessed by clicking on this button. I found that there is installed Steam. If I click on it, I easily find on which device the software is installed. Additionally, I see that it is freeware. Now I will change the status to rejected and the user will automatically receive a notification that they are using banned software. This way, you can easily create a software blacklist for your organization and users are automatically notified that they are using banned software that has to be removed. What may be another problem is that you have more installations than licenses like in this situation. Here we can see all devices where the licenses are missing. Obviously, I don't have even any licenses in stock or assigned on devices that are not used to reassign them to the devices. I have a similar problem here with Windows 11 Enterprise. Luckily, I see that there is currently one license in stock. I choose the particular device, and then I can assign licenses. This helps to have full control over licenses and to use them where necessary instead of investing in new ones. You can also automate the process. It's possible to set automatic license assigning according to specific conditions which helps you save time and costs. Let's look at what that setting looks like. If I choose for example Microsoft Windows Server licenses, I can see that there are 30 licenses purchased. By double-clicking on the Microsoft Windows software, I can go to the settings, where I see there are specific conditions for assigning, including locations and responsible persons. Now let's have a look at how to find hard audit data about software and license in an organization. I need to go back to the license overview to check. In the overview, I can easily find mismatches between the number of software installed and the number of licenses. This informs me of where I have gaps that I need to fill in before a scheduled audit. For example, in the case of Microsoft Office, I see that there are six installations in the organization, but zero licenses.
Another common challenge that organizations typically face is the inefficient allocation and use of licenses. Alvao provides a structured overview of license usage to ensure optimal deployment on devices where licenses are needed. For instance, I see that the license for XN Viewer is missing on a device where the application is installed and it is present on another device that is not used. If I go to the overview and select the device where the license is located, I can remove the license. Now I just assign the license to the device with the installed application. I can see here that the license was successfully assigned. When I refresh the view, the XN viewer has disappeared from the list which means that the license is assigned. To check, I go to the full report, where I see that the license is not misallocated and matches the number of installations and the number of licenses. Alvao Asset Management can help you even if you are currently taking regular inventory. When you do inventory with Alvao, you'll appreciate. Reduce inventory time from weeks to days. Automation of processes, where each employee checks their own assets according to their current status. No paperwork and less administration. We start the inventory by selecting the area we want to check. Usually, this is the whole organization. In the Child Objects tab, I find all the assets that are registered in the organization. Then I select all of them and add them to the inventory checklist. Now I go directly to this list. I have already prepared a reader file for the upcoming inventory where I will add the selected items. After adding, I can see the full count of all items added to the list. Clicking on Send Notification I am redirected to the web application. Here I can see that I have automatically pre-populated all the recipients who are currently using the entrusted assets. I also have an automatically pre-populated message for the recipients. The message can be freely customized according to each user's individual needs. Click on the Send button to send an email notification to all recipients asking them to perform an audit of the TrustEd assets. And that's all the administrator needs to do. Now let's see how the inventory process works for the users themselves. From the email, the user is redirected to the web portal, where they read the report on the ongoing inventory. She confirms the assets that are allocated to her according to the records. She then confirms which assets she actually has. If there is a discrepancy between the records and the current status, the user marks it as missing and can add a message. For example, a justification, a query, or a ticket number from the service desk that relates to the missing equipment. These data are automatically transmitted to the inventory report, allowing administrators to have a transparent overview of the inventory results. Once all items are checked, the user confirms the form, and the admin is notified. And that's all it takes us only a moment to handle painful inventory. A crucial aspect of Alvao Asset Management is its integration capabilities. Except for standard Microsoft applications such as Azure Directory, Intune, Power BI, and network monitoring systems, you can integrate asset management via REST API with a barcode scanner application, ERP systems, and other applications. The Alvao solution meets ISO 27001 security standards, and it is an ITIL compliant solution. Also, we are a member of the UK government, cloud and have other IT service management tool certifications. Licenses for asset management are based on the number of computers. It is possible to register up to 50 additional objects under a computer. To learn more about Alvao Asset Management visit our website or product documentation. If you want to try Alvao for yourself, you can start a 30-day free trial at Microsoft AppSource.